Hey guys, what's going on? Anel here, a uh, beekeeper in Northern Kentucky. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm ready for the spring. It's around the corner. Just ha hang in there. It's almost there. Um, today, I wanted to show you uh, one of my projects that I did over winter, my horizontal hive. But this hive is actually observation horizontal hive, which is a little different. Um, it's different from any other observation hives I've seen. I took um, samples from other observation hives and kind of tweaked some things. So let me show you what's going on in here. I'll give you the details and then um, if you don't mind, leave me a comment or two or three. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. So let's get in here and see uh, what this thing is all about. All right. As you can see, the front of the hive is like, a, like the other uh, horizontal hives I have. But um, when you open this, this is a difference. You drop this door down and you have a big window here you can actually see the entire frame um, when you put it in here so the difference is you can actually put the frames two frames this way and then um, stack them uh, backwards or you can actually put them just the traditional way now I've seen other observation hives and you can only see the sides of the frame which I don't see much you can see bees and stuff a little bit of comb but this way if you have a full front of the frame two of them actually you can actually see what's going on in there. You can actually, I um, mean, you're doing inspection, put whatever you want up front, maybe a brood frame, empty uh, foundationless frame, watch the bees build comb, fill it up with honey or brood. Um, it depends what they choose to do. So at least that's the idea. So we'll see how that works. Actually, this spring, I'm going to put uh, some bees in here and we'll see. I'll keep you updated. I'll share videos as we go on. So let's take a look at some more details here. Um, just um, like I said, it's a standard hive, well, horizontal standard hive. Up here, I did put a rubber seal around the top, so when it closes, it's really sealed in. So, um, and then we got the top boards. So let me, I'll bring this in in a second. Let me move these over, actually show you what it looks like in here. All right, I think that's a good angle actually, but I'll move that around too. So, as you can see, I have some frames this way, um, going this way, and then some frames this way. Um, in the middle here, I have a queen excluder. I'll show you that um, in a second. So, let's see. Let me move these over, and I'll show you what that would look like if you did that. All right, so let's take a look. So, you can just use this as, a, uh, for example, my idea was to use this side, one of the sides, actually, as brood nest and then honey storage on the other side i believe it's like 13 or 14 frames in each row now the entrance is on that side um that side over there so that way if you're sitting here watching bees um you're not actually bothering them they're coming in that way and they're not bothering you so everybody's happy so as you can see you can just stack these frames this way just fine now you have two full frames you can actually see the entire frame I made that uh, window that big purposely so I can see the entire frame. And you can move these around. Let's say there's a few frames of honey here. You can move them here and put some empty frames on this side and even put them up front and see what happens. Do they put honey in there? Do they develop brood or, and so on? So at least that that's my idea. We'll see how that works in the springtime. We'll throw a package in here and follow, follow along as the summer progresses. As you can see, that's how that's what that would look like. Again, it's really easy. It's just that you can put all the frames this way or that way. You can do the same thing on this side too. I just don't want to move all the frames. But yeah, you can flip those and then have the frames going this way. So let me bring this in actually from the side so you can see what I have as a queen excluder. All right, let's see. Hopefully, yeah, you can see that. All right, awesome. So we'll put these frames out. Now, as you can see, I divided the hive. Um, just built a queen excluder. Um, this is optional. You don't have to use it. It just comes out like that. Simple. You can see the rest of the hive. Um, if you're putting just a package in, you can actually watch it develop first before you even use this side. Or either side you want to put the bees on. It's up to you. Um, this is easy. Just um, slides right in. And when you put the frames in, it holds it. However, I, ha I do have a little um, hinge here that just holds it just in case, but you don't really need it. When you put a frame this way, let's say, 
is going to hold that that's not coming out or this way same thing now hopefully this works as i imagined it um i don't know yet but we will test it as it comes as um spring comes and we put some bees in here and see how things go on so that's my observation horizontal hive guys so if you like it uh give me some comments give me some feedback leave some comments below let me know um if i should improve anything i'm sure i have to um like i said as we go down the road as spring progresses in summer i'll learn and i'll improve this hive maybe build another one next next winter for the spring we'll see we'll see how the time goes so let me know what you think hopefully you like it i mean if you don't mind click that like share the video if you like if you want and i'll see you on the next one